Hello everybody, it's your girl Connie Kenneth and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe. We are on the road to 1,000 subscribers and I would like you to help me get them by the end of August because it's my birthday month and my birthday is on the 25th of August. So please make sure you subscribe and help me uh, reach my goal of 1,000 subscribers. So I'm back again with another interview from Mongai Eve and so you can see two hard-working women uh, who are fantastic beautiful lovely and yeah I'm so happy to to see uh, you know to react to this one and so it's an emotional one apparently so from so as yet Nasenya cries live on camera I'm not overrated Kenyans are probably jealous yeah maybe that's that, that could be the reason okay so let's see uh, what uh, you know, this has to say. Let's go. Hey guys, it's Mungai E. Welcome to the Mungai E show. And of course, we're the number one online TV show. <laughs> hey, 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 Eve, you only skiza jalango, huh? You, you actually just, um, you know, took his advice. That's nice because I'm a Sema, the number one online show. That's fantastic. And you're right. You should be proud because we're talking Bali and you're going very, very fast. So good job, Eve. Today, guys, guess what? Yes. I have the queen, yes. queen of. Okay, let me go with queen of TikTok, but me me na find it a more suit to with queen of acting, cause mama, your acting. Yeah, her acting skills are on point, and what I love most about Aziad is her dancing skills, and more so, I would say her facial expressions, how she can bring out any type of emotion. She can go from a serious to crying to uh angry you know she has a way of um of um acting and bringing out emotion that is very um very special and that's what makes it special and by the way as yet if you watch this video congratulations girl you know for your for the radio you're doing a great job thank god <laughs> hey thank you <laughs> Thank you. I'm good. How are you? Uh -huh. Kuchoka too. Kuchoka too. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> life was Yeah. 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 And so your fans, your supporters, however you call them, you know, they want content and your content is so spicy. There's a lot of, um, you know, it's very funny and the people you interview are very, uh, people who are actually trending and stuff like that. So people want more and more. Right? People have become addicted and so, and so involved in your channel and yeah you're doing a great job and hey i just discovered your channel a few weeks ago and i love it and you're doing fantastic i love the con it's the consistency for me fantastic exactly. anyway i'm happy for you by the way congratulations thank you and also congratulations uh, like your youtube is doing really good your content uh, spectacular mm. yes. thank you are you sure you watch my videos i do honestly let me tell you like honestly honestly uh. I'm hardly on my phone. Uh -huh. Like, honestly, I take my phone, I don't even watch my videos. I only watch my videos if I'm shooting TikTok. Oh, that's very surprising because for someone who's, whose job is social media, then we think that they're all, all the time on their phones, this and that. But no, she's ambitious and I feel she has many other things that she's working on. So it makes sense. I take my phone, I post it, I'm out of the app. I have school to do, I have projects, I have to be in groups. I have, like, I hardly watch things. Oh, so if you have, for example, if, even if it's a friend's video, I might watch like three minutes or four minutes and then I, I comment and then I exit. But most of the times I'm happy on my phone. But in Monaco, I'm jealous. I'm yeah. with... Mama Fatma. Ah, I can you only later that. So you see. Yeah. <laughs> when I watch, watch. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, but I, I think it's the same case now, maybe, but personally, who wanna stock? Sana. Who wanna stock? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because as you said, she's always on point. Be it for the wigs, be it for the uh, for the feet, everything. Yeah, the shoe game is on 
on fire. I love it. So I understand. I knew you know, the time you reach out, uh, the person who dresses you. I got yeah. an outfit yeah. from them. <laughs> yeah. Good. Thank you. Hey, me the cool as well. Who dresses? I mean, none of feeling get a vibe. I would say as well. Okay. Yeah, because so I feel like um. Unaovanga kama, you know, I think the same taste to konayo ni nini konayo. Mostly, cause no nanga outfits za kozi kumo off. Unaonao wasichana wa maju. Yeah, wacha. Sasa wacha tisha. Usifanya ni lale na gambo. Sasa nyatina ni ende ni nunua. Yeah, okay, it's true. Yeah, she has a high sense of style. I agree 100%. Honestly, I love your outfits. Thank you, mommy. Thank you. Yeah, I think sasa ni tanzadi. Kusok nyuele. Twente. Yes. Yeah. Anyway, I was saying congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations uh, to you. Thank you. Ah, uh, I saw you got a job on radio. How is it being on radio, by the way? It's. It's. I feel like I just threw myself in the deep end. Uh huh. It's, it's exciting. I've always wanted to be on radio. It's. It's exciting. It's challenging. Uh huh. Because this is a whole new stuff that I had. This is a whole new career. This is a whole new schedule that I have to fit in my already busy schedule. Mm-hmm. So it's it's challenging. It's interesting. It's yeah, it's good. Yeah, like you have a show from six. I have a show ten. from six till ten. Meaning by four, una fa ko yung merauka. Okay, Mimi, it's cause I wanna wanna do ni pa namka four. But tango ni zo zo eh, like it's here. I wake up at four thirty or four uh. forty. So I leave the house by five. I'm at the studio by around five twenty-five, five thirty. Uh. I do my prep and then I just like get started at six. Okay. So, okay. Uh, what's the response, especially from maybe your friends, na pia ma fans? You know, you have a yeah. huge fan base. Yeah, people are really liking it because you know a lot of people in the beginning are like ah why is she getting the job you know oh, this man i'm telling you the jealousy i'm telling you they don't realize the hard work behind everything you know because let me tell you it's very difficult to master the art of, of social media it's very difficult then when you master it or when one of your videos go viral it doesn't mean that you're going to be famous or you have to stop working because to to remain in the game and for you to keep um you know, to keep your funds coming back and, you know, um, then it's not easy. And so when you get something, people think, oh, if she was just lucky or why her and not someone who's done journal. Oh, little do you know she has. I mean, people just talk to talk. There's just a lot of jealousy and stuff like that. So, yeah, you just have to get used to it. And I feel when you're in the public eye, then you need to be really prepared or as things come, just try and prepare yourself to such negativity. It's difficult days this country is so weird people who don't who didn't who don't study for the job get the job and i'm like i've been, I've been in journalism since <laughs> sure. i started study i started studying journalism since 2018 so it's something that i'm actually studying for in school sure. in school in kenya Institute of mass communication okay. i do broadcast journalism okay. so i'm actually a media student and before i went on air because i went on air on june 1st i okay. actually got the job general february march sometime in march yeah so mm-hmm. april may i was actually training and you can get silent to to deal. Yeah. trust me I'm you want to just yeah. Yeah. yeah those are what we call boss moves do not talk about what your your project is what you're planning to do do not show people because you never know what can happen, you know? You never know what can happen in between. And then people will start laughing at you, thinking that you lied to them or you're a wannabe and stuff like that. So I agree with you. I'm the same. I'm the same. I never tell people my moves, but I, I probably tell them when it's already done and, you know, it's it's done or they see the results. Because a lot of negativity can come and can just, like, break you down. So, no. Oh, no. Anyway, I always, I, I don't know. I always just want to manage my expectations. Do you want to Sometimes when you come and say, if by the occasion of to me a hundred Gs, I want to say, by the a hundred Gs, you want to say, by the a hundred Gs, you want to say, by the a hundred Gs, you want to say, by the a hundred Gs, you want to say, by the a hundred Gs, you want to say, by the a hundred Gs, you want to say, by the a hundred Gs, you want to say, by the a hundred Gs, you want to say, by the a hundred Gs, you want to say, by the a hundred Gs, you want to say, by the a hundred Gs, I'm so happy. God, thank you. Yeah. It has happened. I really hope it works. Okay. If it does not, pay. It's fine. Yeah. So let me just wait for that day. The day that I'll go on air is the day that I'll introduce it. Exactly. Day- because what's for you is for you. That's it. And there's no point of stressing over something that is you thought would be for you and it's not. Eventually, it's not. So it's fine. You just go to the next thing and yeah. 
I agree. That, that thing is happening is the day that I'll say it. But yet, mm. it is a Guys, I'm gonna be acting in Hollywood next week. And no. Uh-huh. Not she acts. She's now acting in Hollywood. Yeah. I don't uh-huh. like announcing my exactly. movie. Oh, wow. That's so amazing. I think it's a character that most of us don't have. <laughs> most of us, we tend to be very excited. We get very excited when we have promises. Yeah. Uh, nowadays, well, we have a lot of promises. I, mean, <laughs> I, I, I think I just use that to like help manage my expectations. Yeah. You imagine that I'm going to make a show of my hand and I'm going to make a show of my hand and But imagine that I'm going to make a show of my hand and I'm going to make a show I hope it goes that way. I pray it goes that way. God, thank you. But as for the point of view, it's fine. Right. Yeah. I'll be fine. Sure. Yeah, so if you get a potato, I'll be like, okay, thank you. Yeah. Again. Wow. So, mm-hmm. And talking of radio, Pia, you've achieved a lot. Of course, uh, well, just an asana to wingy, we knew you from the video you did. Yeah. And most of us don't know your story. In our penning, Pia, maybe some of some of the fans on us, manga, oh my, grow very fast. Yeah. And then they don't know what you have gone. Yeah, that's what I was saying with the tip of the iceberg. What people see is just the tip of the iceberg. They don't see what's underwater, that's the hard work, the failure, the sleepless nights, the deceptions, the, you know, the content creating, this and that, all those things that make you have that limelight, people don't see that, yeah, so... Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, uh, Jose Jose two only hit a million followers. <laughs> hey, yeah. all the things. Yes. Um, I- I'm grateful. I'm grateful, mm-hmm. and it's 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 a blessing I can say. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. And according to you, unaweza sema like ini mekuweze shakukuwa that relevant. You know, most of the time ununanga mm-hmm. kuna watu kujia kumtanda then the. Eva kona maswali poa. That relevant, you know. Most of the time, unu nanga kuna watu kujia kumtanda mm-hmm. then they yeah. disappear from yeah. you to yeah. know where yeah. to uh, juangi where they went. Mm-hmm. Watu wingi sana. Yeah. It happens. Yeah. Uh, Wuki thani like as yard. Mm-hmm. What keeps you relevant? What keeps me relevant? Let me start with the things that I feel like first of all keep me relevant. Mm-hmm. I have a very strong, team? supportive yeah. management team. Yeah. Sure. That's very important. Let me tell you, the people with whom you surround yourself with can make you or, or break you, you know? So that's very important. Really good, really supportive. Mm-hmm. I have a very supportive and very encouraging management team, boyfriend, family, you understand? Oh, and I lo- oh as, yeah, you have a boyfriend? Okay, she's taken, gentlemen, she's taken. Okay. I just feel like the moment you have people that are close to you and they're so supportive, like... My management do understand. Niki amka leo me I cannot record a video. They'll be like, okay, fine, you cannot record a video, but this is what you can do. Yeah. I'll be like, okay, fine. My boyfriend is recording a video of me, and then I'm like, I don't feel like doing it. Then he's like, okay, you have to do it because of so and so. You see, like you have people. Who yeah. Do That's number one. Like I have a very strong team behind me that I'm so grateful for. Right. Yeah, which creates a balance. You know, they help you. When you're in the lowest moments, they understand that you don't want to, do, to film today or to do this today. So they will not push you and stress you out. So there's a, how do you say, there's a very nice balance uh, in all that. Okay. And I think also just God gives me the energy and the zeal and just the... Right. Confidence yeah. just keep on keeping on because I pray a lot. I'm a prayerful person, by the way. Wow. I'm not like a prayerful at all. Oh, but yet, I, you, yeah, you get, yeah. like, if you have a personal relationship with God, yeah. you don't have to suggest he announce it or whatever, whatever. Mm. But yeah, and then also another thing that also keep me like it's it's the fact that I'm just used to posting also. Mm-hmm. I'm just used to posting. Yeah, just, something like, that most of yeah. people are doing. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and right now, I feel like I have a family, like guys watching are my family, my supporters are my family. I feel like they're my family online and they mm-hmm. want to watch me every single time. Sure. So I feel like I'm watching you better than this post for two days. And I'm like, are you okay? What's happening? Like, come on, relax. I'm okay. You can. I just feel like that people, there's somebody somewhere who's worried mm-hmm. because maybe I'm not posting or maybe there's just somebody somewhere who just wants to see me. So I'm like, okay, I have to post for that person. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, it's a consistency. You know, once you're consistent, then when you stop posting, as I'm like, oh, what's going on? Yeah. So nice. And as you are, you know, you are the you are you are amongst the first people who got verified on TikTok. If I'm not wrong, sure. Mm-hmm. Amongst the first, uh, am I go- maybe what you are I think so. No, uh-huh. am I? No, <laughs> I'm not sure. No, I'm not among the first people to uh-huh. get. Verified. I'm not among the first people to get verified on TikTok. Maybe. Uh-huh. No, my verification on TikTok actually took a while because I joined TikTok in 2019, uh-huh. August fourth. 
uh-huh. August 4th. Okay. And by September, I was already eligible for like very, being verified because... Yeah, what, yeah. Are, what are the requirements? That time, to, in 2019, back then, it was you were supposed to have 50,000 followers, uh-huh. 500,000 likes, and you should have been on the platform for six months. Uh-huh. So now you see Mimi Nilingia, TikTok, August 4th. Uh-huh. By September... I don't know why. There's just something. No matter how me, I may think my journey is just God. God, I'm yeah. gonna to as yet is gonna be this, yeah. and like no, no. Yeah, ma- if there is a plan. Yeah, I get you. After what anybody says, it cannot, it cannot affect my growth or it cannot mm-hmm. affect my career because when you're linking to TikTok, videos and you're linking to that, 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 that videos, I'm going to cause another viral. That was before the Utawezana. That is before we're talking about 2019 or Sure. So by hey, that Utawezana dance, my goodness, it went viral, international, not even national, not uh, continental. I don't know if you say that, but nas- international. It was fantastic. September 2019, nearly got 50,000 followers because I remember there's a day in August, Musho Musho, nearly gained around 30 something thousand followers within 24 hours. Wow. On TikTok. Wow. On TikTok. So by September, I was already like supposed to be verified, oh. but that's a sequel called verified because I have I had to wait for six months. Six months. Oh, six months. Six months. Right. Right. So by the time of six months, my verification came in 2020, mm-hmm. around February, late January. Uh-huh. That is when I was verified on TikTok. Now what wing of Kasha were verified on TikTok. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, and uh, talking of TikTok, dancing, is it something that you have always loved? Um, uh, where did it come from? Imagine I have been dancing since I was a kid. I've just always mm-hmm. loved I'm not a dancer by profession. I'm not a professional dancer to choreography. Yeah. I just dance for fun. Mm-hmm. You see, like I just enjoy dancing. And I think it's something that I got from my mom because she always tells me, even said she always, Makale Mamangu is a very good dancer. She dances a lot. Mm-hmm. So I think it's just something that I got when I was a kid. Wow. And I've always just like dancing since then. Okay, and you know, look, looking at you, you're the you are mangest people when you mukwani kiangalia sana sana. Kasi mabu, I came after you've already came where we look at you likana, and I used to see what work you control. So I used to check una fanyanga nini. Yeah, ni lukwani kiangalia on your pages. What what do you do? Kasi mabu. Oh my goodness! Let me tell you, and this is an important lesson. Do not underestimate people stop let's stop underestimating people you can look at somebody who's just looking up to you and then if you just underestimate like oh you never know tomorrow so you can imagine if Asia at some point in her life underestimated Omongai Eve who is now one of the biggest youtubers in Kenya and you know um I'm telling you, they wouldn't be sitting together, you know? So it's very important to just respect each and every person who comes your way. Really. So in short, motivate sana sana. Yeah, so Yeah, because I know Mungai Eve has been attacked for her weight. You know, she talks about it like She's, you're, you're too thin, you should eat and stuff like that, the way she dresses and yeah, people are terrible. Bullies. issues like you got attacked, yeah. especially your first time. Mm-hmm. Then juicy juicy when you started like unajua Kenya na kwanga tuna maneno. There was a time tena you only trend tena on Twitter. Sijui kuna issue me gain weight like Kenyans. Yeah. Ona kwanga tuna issues every now and then. I don't think it's a crazy world. It's it's not been an easy journey. Yeah. Um, it's not been been an easy journey. It's been quite challenging, I can mm-hmm. say, because. Yeah, me, yeah, it was just a 19-year-old last year doing my thing. You get, like, I joined TikTok in Tambo. I was on social media. Oh. By the time by, by the time which I was in, I was getting viral. I had, it was at 35,000, 37,000 Instagram followers. Oh. I was at um, 97, 98,000 TikTok followers. Oh, wow. And I was already verified. On YouTube, I was at 6,000 followers on yeah, I remember you were doing vlogs. Yeah, I was doing vlogs. They were quite terrible, but I was doing you only understand yeah. like I had a vision of what I wanted to do. Uh-huh. I was always a hard worker. Unelewa. Yeah. I love like it's something that I had already envisioned since I was a kid. Okay. Because even I was acting on theater. So you can imagine I'm doing TikTok, I'm doing YouTube, I'm doing Instagram, a uh, struggling YouTuber and Instagram and TikTok. Okay. I'm still studying in school. But I am also theater. in theater. I'm acting, I'm doing plays at Kenya. You understand? Like I was, I already knew. It's something that I always say. I, I always confess like, yeah. I'm going to be somebody very, very, very big. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah, and for that, you understood very early that you had to work hard. 
you know, you're a jack of all trades and you did this and this and that and that. And, you know, and so at some point when you work hard in life, you always, always make it. Something will just happen and spark the success and everything after that will just be, you know, bonus. So, yeah, just go for it. So when Utawazana came, uh-huh. it did not actually shock me. I did, oh, what? Now I'm, I'm a celebrity. It was like, oh, yeah, it's nice. It's not, it came like this. It's not like the way people think. It, uh-huh. yeah, it's not how people think. And actually, even my family, it's not how people think. I didn't shock. I did, oh, oh, no. <laughs> no, it was like, okay, that's nice. We saw this coming. It's, 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 we saw this coming, but we do not expect it this soon. Mm. And we do not expect it in this way. Mm. Because... Before Utawazana, in 2019, September, October, Apple, oh. I had gone for a certain audition. Uh-huh. The TV series was supposed to be in... I was I, I had auditioned for a main role in a certain TV series, oh. and I was taken for the role. Uh-huh. So we were supposed to start shooting in January, February, in 2020, but it's March, uh-huh. and then COVID hit. Uh-huh. So we did not continue with the production. But it's easy to production, COVID, to gym affect finances, and stuff like that. Yeah, sure. So my thinking was, I don't know, my thinking was, uh-huh. maybe Mungu, because I've always wanted to do international acting like that is my dream and yeah. i believe i'm gonna get that mm-hmm. um, i've always wanted to do international acting so my thinking was maybe god main actress viral nayo. but now when things do not go as planned because of the financial mm-hmm. issues of the projects and stuff like that he was like why, why not let me give you dancing mm-hmm. why not dancing so he was like with Otawaza. and then when that happened the first reception was good I cannot deny. A lot of people are so happy. A lot of yeah. people were encouraging. It was really good. But it just took a matter of like five, six hours. Mm. And then people started hating, hating. Taking my old photos from Instagram mm. and be like, oh, this is how she looks. Let me tell you, you know, you, you know that you've made it when people start uh, being mean to you, being horrible to you, bullying you. And it's unfortunate. It's really unfortunate because when you start, especially body shaming is a horrible thing. And yeah, I think Asia, that was a painful moment for you. Books, ni, ni, yeah, ni, this is not her. Filters. Sure. I'm like, baby boo. <laughs> filters in the is auto to me. Yeah? <laughs> Did I take your phone and tell you not to use them? Uh, like, no. you can use them. You understand? Yeah. So, when I, when, I get, when I was getting the reception, I felt really bad. I, I, was, I, was, I did not feel bad. I was like, mm, that's an hour. Then, when I noticed people are creating memes and doing stuff like yeah. that, it got so bad. And that time, I had just moved out on my own. Yeah. I'm alone. Oh, I'm living no. in a big one bedroom alone. Oh. And I can just imagine you didn't have your tea yet, so it must have been a very depressing moment. I can't I know it is here. I was like, what is happening? What have I done? I honestly, I can't come back. I'm not even kidding. I went down on my knees and I was like, God, like, what have I done? Like, honestly, I'm not even kidding. I went down on my knees and I was like, God, like, honestly, I can't cry. Like, honestly, I have not done anything wrong. All I did was dance imagine i do not go to somebody and like insult them i do not like <laughs> okay yeah. yeah and what people forget is they're a human you know they're a human being what's the point of breaking their hearts like that being so mean to them it's uh it's terrible i'm so sorry i did i just like go to someone and insult them all i did was just dance and i've been dancing i've been doing tiktok videos why 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 and that time I just moved out of my own oh. and I was sick I, yeah, I, saw that yeah, I was sick for a very long time I don't know when you, you never have appetite eh, as yet I know me have so, been sick I just moved out on my own I cannot cook every time I have like, yeah. like, yeah. like, yeah. like, yeah. like, Tangu April last year, tangu uh-huh. I went viral, 
there is no man that has ever passed without me having less than five jobs or more than five jobs. Oh, wow. I can attest to that. Oh. And so, yeah, it was a blessing all the same and it made you, you know, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. So you see, I think it's also just a blessing because mm-hmm. Mungu Leona, sa awa na mhetsa, amefanya nini? Yeah. So like, I think that's, that's just something I can say. And Mungu anasema, it's normal. It's normal for us human beings not to like each other. It's normal mm-hmm. for me to not to like you. Right. You know, that's yeah. how human beings we were built. We were, yeah. we were built, we were made, we were created. Yeah. But I don't understand but why there's no that. sense. Sikupendi if, sikupendi, spendi kuna vas, spendi muli yako, spendi. Lakini mbona ni kujia kwa nini yako nianze kukutu. Yeah. Sikama sikupendi, I know. Kwa wana kuchangadi kwa DM. Guy. Yeah. You know, like, <laughs> and mimi kile mini lisema, by the way, is that I was bullied. It was sure. crazy. People said nasty things. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it makes you stronger. There was a time they said that uh, you, you, whatever they have leaked. I don't remember. There's a time they even made out crazy things of things they've leaked. Imagine. Wame kasima, oh, amekonda sana, sijui nini. Waka kujia, unanona tena umenona sana. Yeah. Oh, sijui natumia filters. Yeah. Akuna utalikata zwa tumia filters. Guys, yeah. the phones are built with filters. Yeah, pia niyo. Anybody can use them. <laughs> yeah. Anybody can use them. Wame kujia, oh, makucha zake ni ndefu. Mwa nenda kwa mtu na mwambia kujia ni oshevi mbu. Mm. Uh-huh. Sina ishe tu kwangu vizuri. Sure. You understand? So at your sijui her hair, sijui yeah. like you more with the other hair. I cannot live every day with braids. Nita sonda lion's kesho. Nisho ndeka nyo lea elo. Nisho kende kayo. Like it's what makes me happy. Right. Why? Why? You only have one life. Niliza lope kiangu. Uh-huh. So nishi ngitu nikifanya. Ibu ndaka nyo nyo renda la wait. Sawa. Nita sonda lion's kesho. You cannot live pleasing people. Uh-huh. And like if you just don't like somebody, just avoid, avoid them completely. Them. Because mm-hmm. in life, it's not good. Just put yourself in a situation. Yeah. So imagine yeah. how how did my mom feel when I was being bullied? Imagine. How did my family feel? Very bad. How would you feel if your sister is being bullied like that? Yeah, see you are suffering. There's one thing that people never know. Yeah. Bloggers. Yeah. Not everything from bloggers is true. Yeah. Sure. Those guys are trying to make ends meet. They're trying to pay their rent. Yeah. There are a lot of things that a lot of bloggers, not all of them, a lot of them said right. about me, even back when I was talking about me, that yeah. are not true. Uh-huh. And that's what they do. See, I think Mimi Peke, I'm going to wear Niko Shua, Mom. Yeah, it's their job, unfortunately. Yeah. yeah. So when, you, when the other people who see things from bloggers, they come attacking you, they're like, oh, oh, oh this happened, this happened. Yeah. And it's not even true. So there was nothing like her. Job. Hakuna yeah. job yote mimi wasafi wali ni approach, wasafi never approach me. But, I never I, said no. I think, mm. kila mtu na thinking yake kama yiku fiti kabisa, you'd mm. see that one. I, <laughs> it's not making any sense. It's not making any sense. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, you know, it's just crazy. And make letu nilisema ni, I will never respond to them. Mm. I to give you air time. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, don't waste that energy on such people. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, no, the turn they said to you. That's what we say. It's nice to do you. Do you? That's it. Do you? Because whatever you do, people will never be happy. You're too slim. You're too fat. You're too thin. You're too this. You're too that. So yeah, just do you. You've taken spiritus. Hey, we done now. Hey, that easy by the way. It's been crazy, but, but like squeezy, squeezy. Honestly, like I'm so grateful that I had a team. Also, aside from the bullying, I had a very strong mm-hmm. team yeah. that also came on, like my social media family, people, oh. fans who follow me. They were like, mm-hmm. "Hey, I stand with Asia. You guys are not doing right." Sure. Mm-hmm. But when I imagine when I was you're so overrated. You need to on social media. Mkane bully. Mkane, but the only thing I can do is dance. Mm-hmm. I danced. I showed you that I'm a media student. Mm-hmm. I showed you that I can act very well. I was in Selena. Mm-hmm. I showed you that I'm a newscaster. I'm now doing news. and Not a newscaster. Like, I'm a, I'm a journalism student. Mm-hmm. I'm now on air doing radio. Where is the overrating coming from? Mm-hmm. I've worked so hard on my career for the mm-hmm. past year. Yeah. And then, but then you see these people are people who never knew you before. The dance, you know, which blew. Uh, on um, on TikTok, so most of you don't know your background, and most of the people actually think that you know when you're doing TikTok videos or social media is not a job. Let alone just explaining to your parents, like so your parents can ask, what are you doing like social media? And there's some people who are doing social media full time, and their parents have a hard time understanding what is social media. It's not a job. When are you going to get a real job? And you see, so. 
I feel that um, it's a whole new generation and I'm so happy for this new generation because there is so much you can do out of social media. So you have to be very intelligent about how you use social media, you know, compared to someone who just always zapping from TikTok to Instagram to just watching people instead of using it to make money. So that's the difference between, um, you know, just, um, you know, uh, being an expert in the social media world and just being uh, a spectator. So I feel it's a different vibe. It's a lot of work. It takes hours to shoot the TikTok videos, the 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 laps, the you know the changing clothes and deciding what this and that and that. It's a lot of work. We don't see that, of course. So there's a lot of jealousy, ignorance, and I would say a lot of misconception around things. And so I feel this interview is very important because people get to see who you are exactly, where you're coming from, and you didn't steal from anybody. You didn't burn any steps to get where you are today. Right. When I finished my form four, that is when I started working on it. Mm -hmm. So after after we overcome things that now you're being overrated. What is, what is being overrated? Right. Do you know what time I wake up? Mm -hmm. Do you know the kind of the kind of energy I put in my videos? Oh, okay. Do you know how hard I work? Do you know yeah. sometimes in a in a day I can actually sleep for three hours? So the minute I pull set alarm, alarm in Anambia, you have three hours, thirty minutes to wake up, and then somebody wow. comes and tells you you're overrated. What are you seeing? Imagine you get. Um, so it's just crazy. And then such crazy no can be like I got out of it. God helped me. My family helped me. Good people online. So then you're not ahead on me. I honestly pity them. Uh -huh. Like I do pity them because I'm always like God is on my side. Right. I have a very strong family. Right. I have people online who actually love me. Yeah. You're there being bitter. Okay, and the you biggest want, person. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And you want at the end of the day to go and pray to God and be like, Mu this idea. <laughs> <laughs> How do you expect your blessings to come? They will never come with a bitter heart, with a bitter soul. Exactly, you're blocking your blessings. And that's a very nice mindset because you understand the problem is not you. It's them, you know, because your life is moving forward and those things are helping you even become stronger. They're forging you, the character, the person that you are. So, yeah, it's um, their use of, uh, you know, you use those steps as stepping stones, I guess you say. Or, you know, when people throw lemons at you, make some lemonade. And, yeah, you do great. They will never ever come. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, the gentleman says, "So we are going to take care of this. 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 We are going to so I think that's just it. Hey, and then, yeah, just even, yeah wow. these days I'm just like, oh, for real? Uh -huh. Like you haven't learned. You've been hating on me for over a year now. Yeah. I'm still growing. Uh -huh. And I'm not yet even where I want to go. So I think yeah, that's stupid. Yeah. Una una stupid, una, stupid uh, right? Are you sure you want to hear me? Uh, are you okay? Uh -huh. Wow, that's mm -hmm. so nice. <laughs> uh, and talking of acting. Yeah, and, yeah, and, and also... Um, I feel that at such a young age to, to undergo that, you know, the attacks, the hate, the bullying, the body shaming, this and that, it's very tough for you, for, for a young person, for a young woman in a society uh, that is, um, you know, very tough when it comes to women. So, yeah, I am very happy that you have a good team, people who are there for you, protecting you. And so, um, yeah, it's it's very important, and I believe that is what will, you know, that is helping you grow and just block all that negativity around you. So, I think acting uh, personally, I love it when I see those videos. Yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> when you cry, I'm the kind of person yeah. if you ever watch anything in the part in the actress or the actor is crying, yeah. I cry with them. Yeah. So I love them so much. Like, how did you realize you can actually act? I started acting when I was in form. No, 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 no. I started acting when I was in classics. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I've always acted. I think also my teachers in school, because mm -hmm. they said, you can do it. You know, like when you know you can do something, but you're not so sure you can do it. Yeah. And then somebody tells you, oh, you, you can, can actually do it. Do it. So I'm like, oh, wait, I can do it, so I can do it. I started acting when I was in primary. Mm -hmm. I love in high school, I went to state house and nationals a lot of times for vast speaking and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And then when I finished my form four, I joined my acting theater group team. Mm -hmm. So upon opinion by there, I learned a lot of things of acting. Mm -hmm. the, the team is called Hearts of Art. Mm -hmm. Right now, we are not doing plays on theater due to COVID, but when we're back, mm -hmm. I'll definitely go back to also acting on theater. And then after that, I started going for auditions. Nikawa extra for some films. I was 
to some films and also I went for auditions. I said that. And yeah, and then I was in Selena. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. unaweza tuambia experience yako ya Selena ilikuwa gani? Well, yeah, Selena is one of the series zenye tunapenda sana sana. Yeah, it's our favorite. Oh, I don't know about it. I will check it out. I mean, I will I Selena. Okay, is it a Kenyan com- comedy? Let me know. Experience yako ilikuwa gani? Selena was great. I met am- amazing people. Watu kwa ni wazuri, they're really kind. I made a lot of friends and also the- <laughs> Also another thing about Selena is that in the beginning I was excited and I was like, "Oh my, this is a show I've been watching since I was in high school." So I really want to see how this one goes. Oh. Um Yeah, it was good. It's kuna 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 kini li struggle like so you can do ngali. Like Kiswahili you can speak normal Kiswahili yenye si uongee hapa unaelewa. Lakini kina chiki wakati unajua nafuso some script kiti changu kilie hiyo like hiyo ni mara kwanza. Yeah, like Kiswahili sanifu yeah, it's it's different. But I had amazing directors who helped me so yeah, it was a very challenging and a uh, step higher on my career as an actor. Yeah, in your dream it's to be on Hollywood. International acting yeah, yeah. and we're gonna get there. Sure, sure. Show up. Oh God, it's yeah. great. Hey, it she <laughs> is. Yeah. Hey, what hey. about uh, Show Game with Asia? Where yeah. did the idea came from? Show Game with Asia came from Victor Thiambo. He is the one who had the idea and then he approached my team mm-hmm. and we discussed with it. We saw he had a very good idea and then we started the show. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How has it been? It's been good meeting a lot of people. The crew is amazing. It's just been a good journey also. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You can't complain. I cannot complain. Okay, Asia. Yeah. I took him I would love you to tell your fans something you know most of them are watching and they would love to hear from you just your a little your mobile data is turned off yeah. you know, you're what now that at the moment <laughs> yeah una am to a google ana sema nini yeah ningependa uambie my fans wako kitu as yet um hi akini mangala kamera kweli tongisho ya this is the nilikuwa na kuangalia most of the time um what can i say mm-hmm. you want me to say something yeah to your fans okay. first of all there is there is room for everyone mm. the world is so huge so don't ever feel like you're in competition the with the cake is so big the cake is so big I, only- i agree with you and i feel that the only person with whom you should have competition is if with yourself you know just the the you know where you want to go you know the vision that you have that just work towards attaining your goals and stop looking left right and especially when it's negativity you know just be in competition with yourself and not with other people because you we tend to concentrate so much energy on what our competitors are doing instead of using that energy to build higher and farther so yeah i agree i just feel like there's a lot of space for everyone right. don't ever feel like you are in competition with me or Eve or somebody mm-hmm. else on it just to do you and remember Rome, Rome was not built in a night right. success young winners are take two days Yeah, mungine yes. can take 10 years. Yeah, mungine can take 15 years. But what makes us stay in that journey? Like just consistency, pray and just be kind to people. It does not take away anything from you. Like be kind. Right. If you see something in Akubo, achana nayo. Mm-hmm. Just sometimes you know we block our blessings with the very little things that we do. Mm-hmm. And at the end of the day we end up complaining. Mm-hmm. Yet we don't know even need to seem to fly ni naja ni kosea. Unaelewa? So just be kind. It does not hurt it in fact. It in fact adds blessings your way. Right. And what else? Yeah, just keep on doing you and as long as you're not hurting anyone. Ukijisikia hata mtaka kutembea kwa ceiling tembea okay utajumbusha utaumia. But yeah, point is do you. Kama unajisikia kufanya nini mtu anataka kufanya. Kama unajisikia kubeba ile lamp na haigongi hivi, beba. Just to do anything you want to do just as long as you're not hurting anyone. Yeah, and let's do it in a in a in a truthful way without Yeah, without stepping on people to get where you're going. Yeah. Please learn to work hard. Unajua most of us no kuanga the first people kusema eh wewe una yeye sijui nini. Yeah, you don't know wewe mtu amekuwa akifanya nini and then our yeah. watu wa online you guys who attack people. Hamjuangi mtu ana battle na nini. Exactly. You don't know. Exactly. Kama mimi I was bullied yeah. na pia mimi I was sick. By the time nilikuwa nakuja kwa limelight mm-hmm. I was battling with ulcers. Oh, yeah. So Eh nilikuanga na tatu. Unaweza imagine, unaweza imagine ndio wewe ni mgonjwa you trying to make ends meet. You go down at the end of the day you're like God please help me, help me get well, mm-hmm. help me 
help my career unaelewa yeah. nisaidie ni work hard una post hiyo video kisha post hiyo video mimi ndio unakuja na bila umekonda na hiyo muombie kwa shafiki ya Mungu Mungu anasema niponeshe Mungu anakuja ananiona oh unasema amekonda fine hata tuma like and I love when they expect me I used to cry kwa sababu by then uh, I was sick yeah. then wazazi uh, school fee hakuna like I'm, You're going through a lot I'm going through a lot then after nime post video oh umerudia nguo oh nini they don't even know hata hii kurudia ni bahati niko nayo yeah I think tunafaa kukua tuko ngikin na vitu tunaambia watu yeah yeah sure Enjoy the struggles people are going through. You have no idea. Be kind to people. I agree with you guys. And that's why I find you ladies to be fantastic. You're good example, great examples, hard working, independent women and yeah, and that's why you are where you are today. You're growing crazy. Oh my goodness. I look up to you both and I am well well done. Great job. Is it has been Pimunga if show we had an amazing time with the queen herself <laughs> continue watching my videos we meet next time bye wow. oh so that was really fantastic and thank you so much for this amazing interview i've seen so many interviews and this one is by far very exactly the way um just to the point and very uh, i i love this interview with a lot of lessons let's stop bullying let's be kind let's respect people's hustles you know let's uh let's stop demeaning people saying they're underrated or are overrated especially overrated because you don't know the struggles you don't know what's uh under you know under the iceberg you know the submerged side of the iceberg so thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed my video make sure you subscribe remember road to 1000 uh subscribe it's your girl connie and until next time bye